In this tutorial, we'll go through the steps required to build projects, components, and life cycles in EarthSmart. This tutorial is for EarthSmart administrators, managers, and users who have at least some familiarity with lifecycle assessment. After logging into EarthSmart, you'll automatically go to the Build Project tab shown here. You can always get back to the screen by clicking the Build tab and then clicking Project. Managers will most likely want to set up a project for your users. This may be a demo project just to show them how EarthSmart works, or an active project that they can use to build or modify product life cycles. Users who have spent some time in pre-built projects may want to build projects of their own. To build a new project, first select New, then give the project a name. Give your project a description. Next, choose the preferred impact assessment method. In some cases, you will have only the option of the ES method. Next, choose an end-of-life scenario. Here we've chosen the U.S. Waste Scenario from the USEI library, so it will draw from processes using electric U.S. electricity. Be sure to save your project, then click Select to open it. To begin creating the components and use phase activities for your power supply, click Component Activity from the Build tab. This screen will pop up, allowing you to give your new components and activities names. To make it easier, components and activities can be grouped into categories. To make a new category, select the level above where you want to create your category, right-click, and select Create. A new node will be created. Type in the name of your new category. You can create all the categories you want to use at one time. EarthSmart was designed to allow components and activities to be shared between projects. Use the Category folders to guide users where to look for the appropriate items. Next, we can create a new component. Select one of the categories you've just created. Next, click New to be sure you're not overriding an existing component. Then give the component a name. Enter a description if needed. Then select Save. This will bring you to the Build Component Activity screen. To find inventory for use in your component, use the categories to narrow your search, or use the search function and type up to six characters to find all the inventory containing those letters. Once you have found the inventory you are looking for, click on it on the left and drag it to the right side of your screen. Enter the amount of material, processing, or transport that you have brought in and select the appropriate unit. There is a wide selection of units to choose from, however you can't choose a volume unit for an inventory item which is expressed in mass units. Continue to add materials, processing, and transport to your component. When you're finished, click Save to save your inventory item. If the end of life of the materials in the component you are building is different from the waste scenario selected for this project, you can override the default recycling incineration and landfill values. To override the recycling values, click on the Recycling Overrides tab. Scroll down to the material you want to change and change the percent. If you want to change the percentages going to landfill or incineration, select the Waste Overrides tab. Be sure the percent always adds up to 100. You can also add an image to your component. Select the Image tab and select Upload a File. Browse to the file you want to include and select Open. Be sure to collect, click the Save button when you've finished building your component. Continue building all the components and activities you may need for your life cycle. If you don't see the inventory you need, be sure to contact your EarthSmart manager, who can approve the inventory you need through the Manage tab. There are thousands of inventory items available, and custom ones can be added, so it's likely they can approve what you need quickly. Be sure to build the packaging and use phase activities needed for your product. Once you've finished building all the components and activities that you're going to need for your product life cycle, you're ready to move on and build the product life cycle itself. To build the product life cycle, click on product life cycle in the upper left hand part of your screen. 
The product lifecycle opens with a screen that works in the same way as the Components Activities Build screen. Since products can't be shared across projects at this time, it's easier to see only the products created in this project. However, you can still create categories to make it easier for the user to find what they're looking for. Once you've created your category, choose where you want to put your new product lifecycle and select it. Click New to be sure not to overwrite existing life cycles. Give the life cycle a name and click Save. Click Select to open the new life cycle. Before building your product life cycle, determine what functional unit you want to use. If you want to look at the whole life of your product, you want to bring over one of each product and its pa primary packaging. Secondary and tertiary packaging needs to be divided by the number of products each carries. Anything that has more than one use during its life, like a pallet, will need to have the number of uses attached to it. If you want to look at a functional unit that's more comparable across different products, you might look something at something like one year of use. Here you would divide your product and packaging by the number of years you expect the product to be usable. If the product lasts less than a year, you would need to multiply by the number of products needed to satisfy one year of use. For more information on functional new units, see your EarthSmart Manager or other LCA practitioner. Once you've figured out your functional unit and named your life cycle, you're ready to begin adding components and activities to your life cycle. To add inventory to your life cycle, use the Categories or the Search function to find the components and activities needed to build your project. Drag them from right to left of the screen. If an item can be reused, enter the average number of uses under Uses. If more than one component is used per product, enter that number under Quantity. The units that you selected when you built the component will stay with it, and EarthSmart will do the math to calculate the impacts correctly. If you're unclear whether you've chosen the right inventory item, you can select it on the right of the screen. The bill of materials for that item will show in the lower right. This allows you to check if you've got the right one. Once you've finished with the product, move on to the packaging. Select the packaging tab. Drag and drop the items that you wish to add. Be sure to enter the correct quantities for the functional unit you've selected. Indicate whether the packaging can be reused. Next, build your use phase. Select the use phase tab. Again, find your components and activities and drag them from the left to the right. Enter the appropriate quantities. EarthSmart calculates the total mass of your product plus packaging for you. To see the total after you've made changes, click Recalculate. The Transport tab allows you to enter the distribution distance in miles or kilometers. EarthSmart will use the distance and the mass to calculate the transport impacts. To add the distribution transport, simply, simply drag and drop the appropriate modes and enter the average distance traveled using each mode. You can also add transport from your supplier to any component, but you need to use the LCA mass distance unit. If you're not sure how to do that, see your Earth Smart Manager. If you find that your product is more complex and needs another layer, you can go back to the Manage tab, select Preferences, and choose to use Assemblies. You might want this if you are building a building, perhaps, where you may have to build pumps and blowers for an HVAC system, pipes and fixtures for the plumbing system, wall system, etc., and bring, bring, then bring those systems into the final building project. For most products, however, the assembly stage is not needed. Save your product lifecycle. If you want to see all the layers of your product lifecycle, click the View BOM tab. You'll see all the inventory components and activities that make up your lifecycle. This concludes the Building Your First Project tutorial. The next tutorial will show you how to use parameters in your model. If you have any questions about creating a project in EarthSmart, please contact us by emailing support at earthshift.com or calling 802-434-3326, extension 2.